Hello everyone, welcome back to Trash Gamers. I'm Howl. And I'm Izzy. And we are back playing, I almost said Twilight Princess, uh, Crash, potentially finishing it today, because I think we just have these last two levels left, the Grey Hall and then, I believe, Neo Cortex. Yeah, because this motherfucker decides to finish a game in two fucking weekends. I, can, I can't even finish Legend of Zelda in that amount of time. I think I finished. The fuck was that? Yeah. Okay. Last level. What? <laughs> the absolute <laughs> fuck. Well, no. No. What the absolute fuck was that? There should have been a level there for 45 fucking seconds into the episode. And it was that? That's the fucking level? <laughs> what the fuck is that? It doesn't even look like there's gems there. What is it? Uh, let me go back to you. There was a platform you could go on that went to the side. Oh, it says returning when you've collected every gem. Okay. So that's what that's about. Okay. So you just have the boss. I just have the boss. Now, why did we finish record? Like We didn't know. <laughs> We're going to have a five-minute episode. We're going to have a five-minute episode. It's going to be fine. The grand finale. Okay. I remember dying a good handful of times here, though, so don't freak out too much yet. Okay. Okay. I vaguely remember how to do this. I vaguely remember how to do this. But it's really easy to get hit, though, you know? Yeah, I mean, you've already been hit a couple times. Been hit once. Excuse you. <laughs> Excuse you. Somebody bitter? No. Oh, I didn't. I thought twice. It, twice. I thought it was gonna get. I was. I was fine with it doing that motion, but I thought it was gonna go to the top of the screen, and not just halfway. Audience, please note that the player has been hit twice. All right. But yeah, it no, wasn't twice. It wasn't twice yet, though, when you said it. That's fine, dude. You do you. Uh, what even hit me there? Was there even a sphere in my vicinity? I don't know. Maybe I should put up, like, a hitbox counter or something. I mean, the hitboxes are garbage in this game. They're such garbage. It's like every enemy has an invisible hitbox that's three times their size. It's just madness. Gotcha. Okay. Last one. Mm, I think you have two more. Ah! Well, I gotta, yeah. It's gonna be one more round of these, basically, though. I'll hit him one more time. Okay. You do your thing. I know to dodge you now. Okay. Oh, I see what I'm like. Okay. Shit! Give me Aka. If you're gonna give me these absurd hitboxes, give me an extra hit point, for fuck's sake. Because if everything on screen can just hit me for being on the same side of the screen as me, that's just too much. Especially for precision stuff like this, it's like you can't expect me to do precision stuff if everything can hit me without coming near me. Bitch. Oh, so even if you combine them, it still just counts as one hit. So yeah. you're right then, I still have a long way to go. Yeah. Well, I mean, yes and no, because in this one, if you, when you hit the second green one, it's going to make it bigger. Yeah. Which, which is weird for me. So I don't know if, like, you jump and you attack it, or what the mechanic is for that. See? Yep. Yeah. Oh, You're trying to hit me, dude. Nope. Okay. Ah. There's no hit for you. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. It just counts as one. That's stupid. Yep. Okay. Give me Aku, for fuck's sake. This is just ridiculous. I'm kind of just like, I want you to hit me already that way I can get off here, because this is just a very unfair platformer moment. 
Okay. It's like it wouldn't really be that hard if it wasn't for just the level of precision it's asking without telegraphing to you how much precision you actually need. But it... Nope, not today, Satan. The greens. Nope. You will not. What is that? I thought it was too late, actually, on that one. I... Well, he, he does two green ones. Yeah, and it's easy to miss them, really. Oh, God. There's another hit for you. Uh, I jump... I'm literally jumping over it. Like, I don't know how much... Like, I can't double jump. And I was on the left side of the screen, so I don't know what I was expected to do there. Just not try, I guess? I don't know. They're really being stingy with giving Asaku, too. Like, I thought it was three hit, three deaths and you get them. No, but it wasn't three deaths the last time we said that, too. Oh, was it not? No, I think it was like seven or something. Oh, God. Like, it, it was... It was a, there you there go. There we go. It was a... a Decently large amount. Yeah. I still stand by my statement that it's very unfair. Even as... I get it's supposed to be hard or whatever bullshit. But, like... It doesn't read as good game design to me. Like, there's a way to make a game hard while making it fair. Uh, like, I'd say Cuphead is a very well-designed uh, game. Uh, and it's very hard. It's a lot harder than this game. But it's definitely a lot more fair. Bitch. Nope. Not today. You do your thing. Just try not to hit me, please. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I thought that was done. No, he shoots two green ones. Uh, he doesn't the first time though. That's it, well, cha yeah, it changes. Like, it changes is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I get that. But he's done the two green ones consistently for the giant ball for the past few uh, deaths. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. Andrew. See, like, that one is just one. It's like, it's not well, yeah. consistent. You, yeah. said, you said so, it every time. I'm like, no. No, okay. I did not say every time. What I said was, at the giant green ball, he shoots an additional... Uh, he shoots a second one. Yeah, I know. So, like, you'll get, the, you'll get the green ball, and then there's two more after that. Yeah, I'm not sure if that stays for the last couple, though. It might be more. See, like, this is the giant green ball moment here. You'll get it here in a second, actually. <laughs> Looks like smoking over here. Okay, now watch. No when he does the green, he's gonna do two of them. I I'm, fucking promise. I you. am just messing with you, sweetie. <laughs> See? There you go. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I had to prove that point. I hit it! I hit it, you dick. Oh, he's got me. Oh, he's got me. Oh, okay. Now what kind of bullet hell situation is going to happen here? Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was ten minutes into the game, and we finished! Yep. Ten minute Hells episode. yeah. Well, we get to see the lovely ending scene here. Aw, he gets the girl. Dingle, Dingle Doll isn't in this game, is he? Are they? No, I think... We don't get a lot of the cool villains until Crash, Crash 2. 2 yeah. That's when we get Tiny. Yeah. We get Dingo Doll. We get, uh... What's his name? Injun? Yeah. Man, Crash is just like, put my face in the big old titties. Right. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the fun villains, you don't get to the next, the next right. game. Right. Because who remembers any of these villains, you know? Like the Gangster Rat and... Ripperoo has a reputation. People like Ripperoo. 
Yeah. And then we have the... But, like, there's also another consistency of, like, where the bosses stand. Like, you're going to island, 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 mm -hmm. but, like, the bosses are just placed randomly. Yeah. They, they act agreed. as more of just, like, a random level. Really. Yeah, agreed. As it doesn't, it doesn't to, feel like you're finishing a world when you beat a boss. Yeah. As opposed to Crash 2, where it's like... You have you a finish the, hub. Yeah, you finish the hub, you go up, do the boss, and then you get to the next hub. Right. Exactly. Agreed. Yeah, I like that a lot more myself. Which I think I've played... Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I remember I played a Crash game before Crash 1. But it was like a Game Boy Advance Crash game. Mm. Uh, if I had to guess what it was based on, I'd say it was based on Crash 2, I think. Because you had Dingo Dial and Tiny and Engine and all that. You had flying levels and you had swimming levels. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what would make levels. a good, or what would make a perfect Dingo Dial dick. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about that for uh, Hulk Aromas because we have your character here that's Dingo Dial's ass. So, I have to make it Very a little bit Exactly. I'm excited for that. Okay. Yep. Probably use a dirt scent with like a magnolia or something. Yeah. I think that'd be good. Yeah. How big would you say Dingo Dial's dick is? Um. Realistically, probably not that big. Um. He has a big ass, though. I mean, fantasy wise. <laughs> fantasy wise? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. What what furry would imagine Dingo Dial with a four inch penis rather than a? I'd imagine it looked like uh, Power and Pleasure's Mars toy, but like hung instead. Okay. Yeah. Probably what I'd imagine that looking like. VV babies. I guess that means babies born while it was being made. Maybe. Huh. Yeah, this was a fun game though. It was a lot easier this time going through it, which could be one of two things or a combination of them. It could be that I've played this once before, but it's been like a year and a half at this point. Uh, it could be that I've gotten better at platforming since then, or it could be a combination of the two. Well, and but, you, you constantly have like a game that you're playing, though. Like yeah. you're focusing on, like they may not all be the same platform, but yeah. it's not like you stopped gaming either. That's true. But I remember last, my first time playing this, I was getting game overs left and right, even at the very end of the game. Yeah. Like, it wasn't, um, I don't think there was a level in the second half of the game I didn't at least get three or four game overs on. I remember grinding for lives on the first level by playing through it, restarting the game, playing it over and over again. Yeah. I remember I'd run through 99 lives like it was nothing. Yeah. So, I went through a huge change in skill level, I guess. Yeah. Please connect the controller to continue. Oops, sorry. I dropped the controller and then the battery popped out. And it continued. Sure. Sure, sure, but, sure. But I mean, aside from Crash and Dingo Dial, like, what other hot characters are there? I'd say Tiny. Which one's Tiny? He's the one that looks like Crash, but he's like, he skipped leg day. And he's all top heavy. That's unfortunate. He has a very crazed, like, socialist teeth look. Uh, okay. The characters that look like they skip leg day remind me of a character made by M. Night Shyamalan, where this actor only worked out one half of his body. Oh, wow. So he had like a buff arm and a buff leg, but uh -huh. the other arm and leg are just like wimpy as fuck. That's crazy. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Right. For the money. Like, you create some kind of weird imbalance. You're like, I just. Stop it. Yeah. Get some help. I hear you. I totally hear you. Is there a way to skip this? I can skip it! Yay! Bye! Are you sure you don't want to try that bonus level? Oh, I'm sure. I Again, I've done it before. I did my time. I'm good. Um, but yeah, that concludes our Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot. Talk about crazy, it took us two recording sessions. Yeah? And I suck at Crash. Yeah, well how long did it take you to beat Crash originally? Uh, it took me a lot longer. Well, it took you like at least a month, I think, right? Yeah. Um, let me save this. And then I can... 
check to see. Might not tell me how much time it took though. It won't. Um, uh, let me click X to save over that. And then I can try to switch it out. Maybe. If I press A, what does that do? No, it doesn't tell me. Um, but it might tell me at the... Yeah, I don't think it tells you. Uh, I was hoping it would tell me, but I guess not. But yeah, maybe another time we'll... Well, I guess you'll be the next one to play a Crash game, so... If I get there. All right. I might still be playing Twilight Princess for Twilight the rest Twin of time. Forever. Right. Just playing that for the rest of your days. Yeah, it gives me no info on how much time I spent. But, at any rate, it was an experience. I got through it. I survived it. You had your fun watching me rage. Um, so that concludes this episode and this series. Thank you so much for watching. I'm probably going to put a poll up today on Twitter for what our next game is. Because uh, I have no idea what I'm playing after this. We, we really didn't think we'd be going through it that fast. Well, um, I mean, we'll, we'll put the poll up at the time of... I mean, that, that's this recording. By the time this episode goes up, they won't even remember the poll has been up. Right. It'll, it'll be seamless. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to click like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time in the trash pile. Bye! Bye.